and Gadgeteers. I am Michael Gorman, Editor-in-Chief, and right now I have a Tyrannosaurus Rex, a midget one about my size, growling and looking at me like he wants me to become his lunch. Oh, nice. A little bit. You can get really close into objects. Occasionally you'll see a little a little juddering when you move your head around a little bit too quickly. But for the most part, if you move smoothly and evenly, certainly the head tracking, the depth works really well. And you can see the objects around you and really explore them very carefully. And it feels like you are right there in them. I keep wanting to like touch the things that are floating out in front of my face. So right now it's just kind of rolling through different demos, different visuals, and I'm on some far off world with a little alien being looking at me. And he's watching me, so as I move around, the alien's gaze stays right on me, waves at me. But you can tell as I move, his eyes are tracking me as they go along. <laughs> And now I'm looking at a little kind of tabletop paper world here, like stylized. But I think when you're, as you're moving around from side to side, that's kind of when you see a little bit of the, the shutter. But as you, you can get really close. This, like the view is moving towards this giant kind of floating piece together orb. And it's actually causing me to want to drift back and forth a little bit because the sensation of moving coming in through my eyes is so powerful. You get the sense that you should, you should be moving and your body wants to kind of react in a way that your, your body's momentum is moving forward even though of course I'm just standing here. Good work. And this is definitely the future of cinema right here. I'm in the midst of some kind of futuristic city war zone. Debris, rubble flying all around me, bullets whizzing by, bullet time, Matrix style. <laughs> this is very cool. Let me take it off. Yeah. Sure. So this is the Crescent Bay prototype and the experience was the best Oculus or really any virtual reality experience that I've ever had. Uh, I've tried DK1, DK2, Crystal Cove. Crescent Bay really is a leap ahead. Uh, everything about it is a better experience. There's still a few things. Obviously this is a prototype. Oculus has been very clear in saying that it's got still quite a bit of work to do, but every time we see a new headset, it continues to improve dramatically from the last one. And this latest headset, now that I'm holding it, is actually really lightweight. I know that these things are hand-built, but it's actually put together really quite well. They've gotten much better at kind of hand-building these prototypes, clearly. Uh, and the built-in headphones, I think, are gonna be a real boon. It's gonna be very interesting to see what kind of new things developers can do from here on out. Uh, and I am really looking forward to when they kind of get this thing nailed down and we get to see it again. Hopefully it'll be even better. So that's it, and that's all. Thanks, guys. Which makes it kind of ideal for games like Monster Hunter, MMRPGs, and possibly even shoot-em-ups. I mean, you can use it like an analog stick, like you'll have on most analog controllers. With